Ah, my dear friends and replay viewers, I want to say a few words about the signs, the signs of God, of Hashem. One of these signs is evident here in my broken dreadlock because yesterday my and this is what I'm going to talk about while I've been reading Psalms actually Psalm 3 Psalm 4 <clears throat> all about David and Absalom his son and the relationship between David and uh, Absalom, his son, who was trying to kill him. And then what happens? David, I mean, the son, Absalom, who had, uh, who was a Nazir's hair, gets caught while he's riding on a mule, gets caught. And while I'm studying these Psalms for the past couple of days, these initial psalms in the book of Psalms, and wondering about why they start at the end of David's life rather than at the beginning, and Absalom, and being a nazir, and gets his hair caught yesterday. I get my hair caught. And I'm locked in. And I move around and it breaks. And it's, it's upsetting. It's one of the things that upsets me. And then I realize that the upsetting part of it and the getting caught of my lock has some relation to the, the shama of Absalom and David David is father and King David and Psalms in general. And these are what you call signs. Signs from God. The best way to express these signs is with the Arabic word and how it's used, by the way, in Islam, not even in Judaism. And so I'm going to express it in Judaism through the concept here of Islam. Arabic has a beautiful word for signs. It's called ayat. It's a sign. It's the same as the Hebrew word ot. Just like tefillin is an oat, it's a sign. But in Arabic, the word ayat, and in Hebrew, the word oat, means uh, signs of God, but also means letter, the letters of the alphabet. So the ultimate letters of the alphabet are the ayat, the oat, the signs of God. This is the letters of the alphabet. The ultimate ayat in the Hebrew Bible is the bet. Ultimate sign. If you know the bet, you don't have to go through too much more. The only thing you have to do is get to the Aleph that created the Bet. And that Av, the first two letters of Av, sh Salam, Shalom, so for today, since you know I'm a Psalms man, a Tehillim man, Tillam man. 
maybe Psalm 3, maybe Psalm 4 for today. To pray for your, and say Psalms for your difficulty, rather than violence. And this is the way we have to read our signs. Ayat, uh, Ot. The whole thing is an interpretation of what happens to us. Everything happens to us, happens to us on multi-levels. How you interpret something is dependent on what level you are at that time. At this time, I thought this was bad luck. As it turns out, I wouldn't be doing this shear right now if it wasn't for this supposedly bad luck, the broken, broken threads. And so as I, as I broke the thread, thinking it was bad luck, by, by its understanding of the sign, of the oat, of the ayat, of the letter that it represents, of the, depending on what level it represents and where it is in my understanding. With that, I interpret the sign differently depending on what stage of consciousness I am at that particular moment or day. Do I want to understand it physically or emotionally or spiritually? And so all these levels are permissible in the ot, in the ayat, in the sign. And know what the Bel Shem Tov said, that every leaf that blows over in the wind, how many times it turns over, is faded from the beginning of time. So you have to understand that everything is a sign. And how you interpret that sign is how you understand life. And there are multi-levels of interpretation for every individual sign. So when you it's the same thing. It said a, a dream that's not analyzed is like an unopened letter. Every dream has symbols. This is the whole Freudian thing. The whole story has, is a symbol to be opened and you open it according to what level you are at that particular time of the opening and your understanding. And so everything is a sign from God. Even this little periscope I'm doing right now, it's a sign from God that you are supposed to analyze all the daily encounters in your own life yesterday two or three things happened to me which i found the gematria for as parallels amazing things happened to me in that way why should they happen to me That, that the full gematria of para duma comes out to be the full gematria of the Hebrew word cockroach. What does that mean into my individual life that I don't have to share? So everything that happens to an individual is an ayat. A 
is a sign, is a note. This is a beautiful thing to understand, especially as you're watching this. This is the opening of the letter, the letter in two different senses. The letter is a letter of writing and a letter of a letter of letters of the Torah. And each individual letter of the Torah has to be lettered, opened up like an un, like a letter that you receive in the mail. And it's dependent upon your individual level of consciousness at that particular time that you're reading it. And if you had more information to open up, and that's the reason it makes it more beautiful, more satisfying, more higher level. And even when those things, and you think you're on a higher level, and, and you bend over and, and you hit your hair on a, on a, on a um, fire hydrant, and it locks in, and, and it rips, and you're upset because it rips. And then you realize that you've been reading about Absal- Absalom and his hair got caught. <laughs> and I'm reading and studying that psalm and, my, and that happened to me. So that's a sign. What that means is up to you. What's your sign? It's not for me. I don't know your life. What those signs mean are up to you. For your life. Everything that happens is a sign. But we aren't able to perceive that at this time. So this short little spiel this shio, this dialogue, this monologue, is so to realize that everything is a sign and that you're supposed to be, depending on what level you're on and what level you want to open up to, you'll see that sign in a different way. Thank you.